welcome back to another custom diecast video. I know, it's been like what, two and a half, three weeks since I've uh, posted anything and I do apologize for that. I missed you. I really did. I missed all of you. I missed your comments. I missed your uh, support and all that good stuff. But today I'm finally back with a pretty decent custom I think, or at least we're going to try. But we're going to try to remake uh, Ryan Blaney's Roval win. Now, if you don't remember that race, you couldn't have watched it because that was a one heck of a finish where uh, Johnson uh, kind of locked up his brakes and slid in the Truex, costing Truex the win at the Roval. And then Mr. Third Place came in the first place and then uh, took the win. So I realized uh, that Wave 11 was at my store instead of Wave 12. And I'm like, you know what? I wonder if there is a diecast in there that I could kind of make something out of. And I saw Ryan Blaney's. I'm like, and it is an immediate click. I'm like, perfect. That's what I'm going to do. So that's what we're going to do uh, today. I gotta go get my uh, uh, quote unquote confetti because I actually forgot to set that out. But I have uh, reference pictures. So, you know, I kind of know what I'm doing. And from what I can tell from the reference pictures uh, itself, as it looks like the confetti is red. And blue. You can see here. Uh, it's kind of what it looks like. I got some. Like I said. I got some reference pictures. For just you know some stuff. Well, as a thumbnail you all just saw. Uh, spoiler. I'm going to have that up soon. Uh, okay, I got some reference pics. So we're going to be trying to do this first. Uh, I got a marker. I know it's like the. Some details are going to be darker than what it normally would be. But, I mean, I can't really do anything about that. That's just kind of how it's going to be. So, with that being said, I think we should actually uh, start getting this done. So, we'll see how it goes. No promises. But, let's just hope it turns out alright. First thing we're going to do is uh, obviously take the diecast out of the package. And yeah, that would be smart, right? I would assume so. Once we do that, we're going to take uh, the tape. They're going to uh, tape off the boundaries uh, from where the playoff markings are going to be because I'm going to start with the playoff markings first. And why I'm going to do that is because um, that's how it started. During or in the beginning of the race, uh, it started as a uh, just a playoffs car. And then throughout the race, I'll put the damage on it and then I'll put the uh, confetti on it last. You know, it makes sense, right? You know, kind of do as realistic as you can. Don't really know how it's going to work out, but we're going to, like I said, we're going to tape off uh, the front right here so that we can leave this and we're going to tape off the spoiler. So once I am done with that, well, I don't know if I'm going to, well, I'll, I'll show you how I, how I do it. So take a little bit of tape. Uh, I don't have, don't have scissors, do I? I uh, don't think so. I uh, don't think so. I mean, I got knives got plenty of knives uh, i'd like scissors low honestly i mean it could be just rip it i guess but or you can never have too much so we're gonna tear this off here actually you can probably tear off multiple so i'm gonna tear off just a little bit uh i'm gonna try to use the edge right here as a straight line and we're just gonna kind of put it on the edge right there see so okay so a little crooked, you know, you can fix that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Then you, uh, get there. So, yeah. You know. Alright. Not terrible, not terrible. I do wish it did kind of stick a little better. But, I mean, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, fellas? And then, let's see here. Yeah, that comes down a little bit. So, it's been that. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but it's okay. Because you'll see the end of it here in a second. If I can get this done. There you go. Now I think I should do it. I don't really know about how it looks, but I think. So right here is what's going to be painted. They're going to do that with the back as well. I'm just going to kind of 
flatten that down a little bit, make sure everything's good and, and it's not going to like slip during the process. That's a little off. I can probably fix that just a little bit, not too much. Not too little, not too much. I'm kind of press it down as hard as I can. And then come around the back. A little bit more, like I said, we're going to use uh, this edge right here because it's straight and it's easier to just deal with. So, once I got that, let's take this. Uh, probably split that in half. It's kind of save tape, save time. Alrighty. Because I don't want to do too much, I don't want to do too little. Because too much looks bad and too little looks bad. But it is hard to get the right amount. So, and let's hope the decals don't freaking peel off. Because we know how Lionel is with their uh, decaling. So, let's just hope and pray that this doesn't go wrong. Yeah, almost done. We got to get the... Uh, the sides right here so we got front and back we're going to press that up just a little bit more and then we're going to add the sides just so uh, once I paint it it will kind of get around the edge and not really onto the die cast as much so let's do that real quick I'm actually going to do that off camera because it's going to be super easy but you know all right so we got the edges uh, wrapped around right there there's a lot of extra right there but you know it's all good Next step is to take uh, the green paint. I try to get uh, as close to, what does it say? It's nail polish, but I mean it works. Right? I mean, it, just, it works, okay? It works. Uh, let's see here. What color is this? I don't know, I think it's like green apple or something. I don't know, but this actually seems to work pretty well, as we did it last time, but... We're going to see how this works again. Hopefully it works and not fail. So let's see how it goes. Now when you paint the spoil, uh, spoiler, spoiler, Jesus, the spoiler and uh, splitter, you don't really want to like just have a whole big bunch on there. You kind of want to just do a little bit. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do just a little bit on there. I don't know how. You're just going to kind of like want to dab a little bit on it. You don't want to like completely cover it so let's see how it goes and this is a bright color uh mixed with another bright color so i know how it's going to work we can we can see and you can try always if you don't fail then uh you didn't try hard enough so let's try that it's going to try to like i said just kind of Dab it on there, I don't really like, you know. Alright, so there's still a lot of yellow showing through, but uh, we'll kind of let that dry and see how it works. I ended up having to do multiple um, uh, coats on the spoiler and probably the same for the splitter because it'll, it'll show... Like the color through there, but if you give it some time to dry, and then put another coat on, wait for that to dry. Uh, that should work. Uh, if it doesn't, just try to uh, put a couple more coats. I uh, just kind of like tap it on there. Don't really like just like you know, just sling it on there. You know, you kind of want to be gentle with how you do it because it's in a such a small area, and you know you can't really do much with it. But that's it for now uh, on this on the back. I know it looks wet, but it's it's a little like not really terrible. But I mean it's drying out so you know well if an if it needs redone we'll uh we'll redo it but now time for the splitter i'm going to do the same thing but i'm just going to do it off camera and you know we're going to try to do the same thing as well i may cover this up i don't know but we'll see All right, so I believe that it is uh, dry enough to start taking off. I'm going to do the back first. So let's hope 
this goes well, and we're going to do it really easy. I'm going to have to probably take it up here with me, just so nothing bad happens, or hope not anyway. Last time we had a little, little trouble, but I mean, it's all good. Again, trial and error. Don't know till you try. Okay, so here's the back. Not terrible, but I mean, it could be a little better right there, especially. But that turned out pretty well. So, you know, that kind of sucks with the deck lid, too, because um, that's like kind of where the confetti is, and that's like only where the confetti is. So, we're going to try it down here on the splitter, see how that works. Try to concentrate a little bit. There goes some decal. It's not good. see not too bad a little bit more what I wanted okay not terrible either but I mean again not great so the only thing here is that right there which I may redo later but for right now I'm just gonna keep it the way it is I did do the underneath uh, you can see a little bit, but that's just underneath detail. I don't, don't really care. Got a little chip here. I mean, you know, that's just... I feel like it's going to happen now. But, I mean, you know, it's just is what it is. I say that all the time. Just doing it for the... For the fun of it. So, there's what it looks like so far. And not terrible, but not great. Either. Not bad. Now, we can get into actually doing... The confetti. Actually, no. Not the confetti, but the uh, the markings. So, if I go to my gallery, uh, go to... Uh, was it downloads? Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Hang on there, brother. Oh, no. Here we go. Wait. No, that's in a different folder. Or different phone. Never mind. Hang on. I just had it, brother. Just had it. Here we go. Alright, I got them. I got them. We're good. We're good. So, it looks like... On... This side... We have... Not a lot, actually. Just kind of a... Little scrapes here and there, not really terrible. I don't know if I can do anything about that, so I'm just going to pass. On this side, we have a couple dents. Again, we can't really do anything about that. Uh, so it's going to be pretty clean, as far as I'm concerned. We do have a little bit of markings. So let's zoom in here. Let's see. Looks like we got a little bit uh, right there on the quarter panel and above the tire. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, like I said, it's going to be darker than normal or than what it would be like if I now made it. But hey, so let's see. It looks like we got a little marking uh, above these and right in this area. So. So you got a little bit here. Gonna slightly mark that. Then we got one right above here. That. And then oh, that's my thing. Then on the bottom panel. We got a little bit of scuffs, so let's uh try to do something here. Let's try to let's just try something like that. That may work. I guess we're gonna have to, isn't it? You got a little bit, a little bit here. Oh, my hands really shaky right now. A little bit here. 
Uh, let's see. Around the tire. Oh, I got a little bit. Up here, we got, uh, there's a teeny tiny marking. It's like right here. Right there. It's a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to fix that right there. Once we, uh, actually get, like, with it. Uh, there's some more in the quarter panel on this. It's back here, so we're going to be like this. It's a little dull, so that's kind of makes it good. There we go. It actually looks pretty legit, I'm not even going to lie. There we go. That's actually not bad. I'm kind of impressed with that, to be completely honest with you. And for this side, uh, looks like I've got a little bit on a quarter panel. Not too much, just right above the pins. I'm going to have a little mark. Not, not terrible. Not, not something to freak out about. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, front, anything important? I guess we could do, like, right here. Oh, I got a little bit of green on there. Yeah, I can probably get that off. So, here, a little bit of roughing up. Not a lot. Try to rough it up a little bit. There we go. That actually looks insanely, like, accurate. There we go. So there's a little bit for that quarter panel. Or not quarter panel, but like the front panel. I'm not seeing anything from the back or, like, in the front. So I guess we can kind of do the confetti now. Which isn't terrible, but it's just a little bit. So let's try to do that now. So on the back, we're just going to kind of sprinkle or we're going to get the clear coat out we want to just get a little bit of a deck lid right here we want to get a little bit of back right here because there's some up here too some up here some down here i think that's about it so what i'm going to do is going to tap a teeny tiny little bit of both so let's get the Right open. He's going kind of. Oh, too much, too much. Let's try to move some around a little bit. All right. So, <laughs> interesting fact. That's going to mess up your paint if you. Do that, then don't like, don't do anything else. So, I'm gonna add just a little bit there. Shake that off. So, I'm gonna have that now. I'm gonna add a little more blue to cover up the horrible thing we did. So, I'm gonna take this, then kind of cover it like that, and then like that. So, we'll have a little bit like that. Not too much. I think that's like a about where everything was so that's what a one thing i like about these i know that there was a huge couple or a couple huge errors on this and that's fine that's actually good because uh like i said trial and error like i mean if if something doesn't work then you know next time so that's one thing there's always a positive thing to come out of it yeah the deck lid's a little messed up now but it's not like as terrible because, you know, we kind of fixed that, but uh, once I get the rest of this fixed up, we should be pretty good. You know, not terrible, but yeah, don't, don't smudge that. If you buy this stuff right here, uh, do not, like, smudge it. Don't. If you put it on there, it's on there. <laughs> and leave it alone, because that's going to screw up your paint really bad. Like I said, you learn things, and that's good. I got to put the banner and stuff on there, but I'll, uh, I'll kind of put a picture after I do that because right now 
it's all I've got. I mean, there's not really a whole bunch to it, but we can take a closer detail on the, oh, Jesus, camera. Take a closer detail on the markings, or a closer look on the markings, I should say. Oh, where's the back? There it is. So we got some markings there. Not really much. Got a little bit there as well. Uh, some confetti on the stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to get that off the thing right there. Yeah, you can see it messed up a whole bunch right there. But, uh, you know, like I said, we know for next time. Didn't see anything on the back, really. So that's, that's kind of good. And you got a little bit of marking here. Uh, a little bit of marking uh, there as well. Not really much. But, so I think it's pretty cool. I mean, we, we tried. Like I said, I hit my camera again. But, if you don't try, you won't know. And until you know, it's a mystery. So if you try something and it doesn't work try something else because now i know uh i got a couple uh middle notes now uh what to do and what not to do in situations like this but i kind of think that's going to be all for it i don't think i have anything else to add other than the banner but like i said i'll put a picture on that you'll see that in the thumbnail but i'll kind of go inside and look at that see if it looks any good but, like I said, I believe this is going to be all for this custom die cast uh, uh, video. So, thank you all so much for watching. I uh, hope you learned a couple things. I surely did. Do not rub anything after you put that liquid on there. That will mess it up real bad. <laughs> I mean, real bad. So, one lesson. Don't do that. If you put something somewhere, you better make sure it is accurate. But, I think that's about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video.